Hey everyone, Mr. Slow Ten himself here. Oh man, already hot and humid. And it's only 11:30. I ain't complaining. I got the AC going on in the garage. Uh, I gotta do a little bit of work today on it. Um, got a few things I gotta address on it, and uh, you'll be seeing that here in the video. So hope you guys enjoy it everything else and all right i already put some oil in the motor last night when i was here trying to set some uh get my roller rockers all on and everything else and so i had to dump some oil in it um but kind of got everything all set and ended up i i, I kind of I, I i don't know what it is about the head studs but they're always long and right there you see i mean they it hits the side of the roller rockers and there's another one i mean this one here i mean it is barely i mean you see daylight so I think I'm just going to grind that roller rocker down just a little bit. And because, I mean, I've always, I already had to, I mean, they're, they're, these are loose. So, I mean, they're, they're snug to where they need to be. But I already had to grind the, uh, these rocker, roller rockers to clear the valve springs because of the bigger valve springs. Um, these are the same, I mean, you got that one right there, uh, this one's barely touching, so I mean, I'm gonna kind of grind down on the roller rocker on that one, that one there is gonna have to be cut, and that one there. I mean, you can see daylight. I'm just going to grind down on the roller rocker here. And kind of may make some All right. Uh, I got one roller rocker done. Uh, all I did was uh, just uh, kind of grind down the one side of it where it was uh, hitting. And it was barely hitting it. And so ground it down everything else and i'll let you see it and right there you can see where i ground it but that was all the way down and it's coming back up and it doesn't hit it no more so job well done <laughs> all right oh yeah safety first got my uh, got my safety glasses on I'm over here just uh, doing a little bit of grinding down on the, the rocker arms I mean I know there's people out there that's done this so uh, if you have a rocker arm clearance problem on your center studs, like those right there, I mean, it's very easy. You can cut the bolt down or trim your roller rocker just a little bit. Because, I mean, I haven't, I, I haven't had to grind too much off on it and it's working good so i'll show you what i'm doing i'm not going to show you all of it uh because i only got to do technically uh i gotta do eight of them total so um so after that uh because i only got technically four on each side that are hitting so but yeah, see, I already started getting it going and everything else. And just kind of... Uh, 
But, I mean, honestly, it is hard for me to try to film this and everything else. And, but, uh, this is all I'm doing. So, if you got a problem, just, just trim, trim on this just a little all bit. Alright. I ended up, uh, with, uh, my little helpers here. They're helping me out right now, the kiddos. But, uh. Anyway, I got, uh, I want to try and get in their video, but anyway, it's my boy. Maybe she come over here, back over here. Say hi. Hi. Tell them what you're doing. Um. You don't know what you're doing? You're doing a little bit of. Cutting and grinding and getting Remy ready. Anything else? How much horsepower do you think this is going to make? Um, I don't know, like 12 grand or something? 12 grand? 12,000 horsepower? Holy crap! <laughs> but uh, anyway, I got all, they are good now. Well, let me grab the light so y'all can see it. They are good. They are not hitting no more. You can see where I had to grind. So, honestly, Thank you, Bubba. That's all you gotta do is, uh, if your rocker arms are having a little bit of, you're having a little bit of clearance issue and everything else, just trim them up. That's all you gotta do. Uh, you don't have to cut your studs or anything else. I mean, you can if you want to. I've done that in the past. But, uh, yeah, now it's time for the other side. All right. Hopefully you guys like that uh, video and everything else uh, of the uh, finessing of the roller rockers uh, for clearance issues. Um, honestly, you can, two ways you can, I mean, I've done technically the other way too, but you can leave the studs in and just kind of plug the holes up so that you don't get no debris or nothing in it take off your roller rockers and all that shit and then use a die grinder and cut it that way so that you don't have to take the bolts back out the studs um but since i mean my motor was a it, it hasn't been ran yet so i went ahead and the other way is you can pull a stud out and all that shit. You do one one stud at a time and then use a die grinder, cut it through, and then put it back in with some, uh, like on a normal uh, 400, uh, the bolt holes go through water jacket pass, passageways. So, you always have to put in it like uh, some thread sealant, uh, it, something like that. Uh, a uh, Permatex, I mean, but it has to be uh, for heat. But we usually just use uh, uh, some thread tape or the liquid and all that shit. And just let it set up on the bolts for a little bit. Um, but this new block, the bolt holes, uh, the holes, they do not go through a water jacket passage. So that was not a good thing. Um, but uh, anyway, there's that way of taking the bolt out, grinding, or the way that I just did in the video where... You could just kind of finesse your roller rocker. Um, 
which you can do all three ways. I mean, if you do the first way when leaving it in and cutting it, uh, you just got to make sure it's very, very clean because you'll have a, you'll have the, the shavings and all that shit. Um, otherwise, that's about it. Hopefully you guys like this video. Like and subscribe and share. I really do appreciate it. And you guys have a good day.